you what up i'm mariam welcome to my channel or welcome back in today's video i'm going to be reviewing swatching and creating a look with huda beauty's new haze obsessions palettes i have three of them and i am going to be creating a khaki haze look on my eyes i feel like this look actually turned out really nice i'm quite pleased with myself but be sure to watch until the end for that final verdict and for the truth team truth style as always so with that said remember to subscribe if you aren't already hit that notification bell so you can see all of my wednesdays and sundays videos and now let's get to it huda beauty haze obsessions palettes review swatches with the swatch model this time and a look let's hit it here it comes Ooh. Okay, I already took a peek, which is why they were upside down. In this PR package, we have three new palettes in the Obsessions category. These are called Haze Obsessions with Khaki Haze. So Khaki Haze is an earthy collection of khaki, olive brown, desert tan, dusty peach pink tones highlighted with bursts of golden copper and rosy light filled shimmers. Sand Haze. Packed with shades inspired by the ethereal Antelope Canyon in Arizona. Huh, I've been there. Dusty pinks, burnished browns, and terracotta mixed with earthy berry metallics and creamy sand shades are designed to be layered to give a romantically rich, smoky eye look. That sounds really promising. This is a really beautiful palette. Actually, it doesn't look as great on print as it does in person, so keep this in mind. I wasn't as interested in this palette when I saw it online, but now that I'm looking at it, I am even more interested in it than I am in the khaki haze obsessions. Huh. And last but not least, we have purple haze. Get it? Purple haze. Close your eyes and escape to a desert disco with this dreamy palette that includes shades of smoky plum, dusty mauve, pink clay, and burnt hazelnut mixed with soft twinkles of deep berry, misty violet, burnished copper, and pink bronze. Ooh, that, that sold it for me, you guys. I don't know about you. Each of these palettes is $29, available online and in store on September 15th. So by the time this video is up, these palettes will already be available. The links below. All right, so now that we have all the details let's do swatches we need the swatch model please right now team truth here we come it's swatch model time yeah <laughs> the favorite time of the swatch model it's the most wonderful, <laughs> wonderful time of the year all right which one would you like to swatch first purple purple haze i knew it Get in here! <laughs> Purple Haze, here we come, swatching the very first shade in the collection. They have no names, so I love that. Ooh, very nice. Real good. Wow! They're so good, they don't even need a name. Okay, not too much drag there. Let's do a second dip there. A little better, but you know. Oh yeah, so creamy, so creamy. Bye-bye. Wow. Oh, there's like no drag there. Just watching this lovely nude. Oh yeah, it's totally nude. Nice. All right, here we have a little tan shade. Okay, so the mats are, you know, per usual. You need to kind of double dip. Matches my nails. This one's gorgeous, holy crap, sun. It's like That's a pretty. periwinkle metallic That's goodness. All right, so now we're swatching the khaki. Nice. This one has more mattes though. Hmm, you gonna double dip on that metallic. Here's a nice brown. It's not bad. Alexa, read me the notification. A shipment will arrive today including biker shorts. Is that for me or you? That's the question. It's for fashion, sweetie. Oh, okay. Next up, we got the beautiful khaki olive shade. Yes, I was hoping this one was gonna be good and it delivered. I am delivered. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. That's so funny. Can we just concentrate on the swatches, sir? All right, this last one is kind of like a orangey bronze. Oh, it's pretty. Pretty, huh? One final last uh, swatch. Ooh, wow. delivered. All right, here is Sand Haze. Do we love it? First swatch. Nicely done. Boom, next. Double dip on that. All right. Boom. All right, we got another 
matte shade. Oh God, these are so barely there. The mattes are always like, they barely show up on your, well, that one showed up. All right, this next one is kind of peachy. Dude. You're not gonna re-dip in those mats? I re-dipped like several times. Oh, okay. wow, look at that. That one was the like the answer to those mats. All right, and the last one. Boom. Oh my oh God. My goodness, my shoulders. All right, so those swatches were impressive when it came to the metallics, but then the matte shades were just a little hard to swatch, especially the lighter shades like the ones from the Sand Haze palette. Although I loved the way that it looked, I felt that some of these colors were barely visible on Lee's skin tone, which is also very similar to mine. So I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna put it away. I feel like although it's a pretty palette to look at, it's not really meant for my skin tone, so I wouldn't really get much use out of it. Having said that, I am going to focus today's video on the khaki and the purple haze. I'm thinking I'm gonna dip into both palettes, but I really wanna create something that's cohesive that looks good on both eyes. How cute is our swatch model, by the way? I know you guys love the swatch model I know we need to get him a bell we need to get some swatch model merch all right so I'm applying my Fenty Beauty primer as always and per usual this is not only my favorite eyeshadow primer but it is also the primer that I think works best with Huda Beauty eyeshadow formulations although Huda's matte eyeshadows don't swatch great they always need to be redipped and or dragged out or blended out they apply pretty well especially with a sticky base like the one that I'm applying and for those of you who are new to my channel, I have reviewed every single one of Huda's palettes, Obsessions palettes, larger palettes. Now, I'll actually include the links to some of those videos in the description below for those of you who might be interested. All right, so let us begin. I want to create a nice fall look because I'm definitely getting fall vibes with these two palettes. I like the fact that this one is purple, but it's kind of dusty and it's a little mauve-y, so it's very fall appropriate. This one is obviously very fall friendly. So for those of you who love earth tones, khaki tones, you're probably gonna love this palette or at least the color compilation. I also love the fact that brands lately have been leaning more towards creating cohesive palettes that make it easy for you to create multiple looks within a certain theme as opposed to just like sporadic random colors. I appreciate that a lot. All right, do we have any clean brushes here? Also, my brushes got clean. Did you guys notice? All right, let's take this the makeup show brush. Let's begin with the khaki. Staring directly at me, so that is what I'm I'm going to grab. I love these little palettes. They're so easy to use. They're so small and convenient, easy to travel with. They don't snap together like the Fenty ones, but they're almost the same exact size. So it's really easy to just like throw in your bag and go. All right, so first I'm gonna stick this color onto my lid. It's very, 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 very pigmented and applies well to that tacky base. Kind of going along my actual crease, which is literally right here. This is where my crease is. So I'm staying very low with this shade and I'm using the tip of the brush to kind of just paint this color along my crease. Again, I don't know what look I'm doing with it just yet. I'm gonna let it come to me. I'm gonna let these colors speak to me and hopefully it'll turn out in something nice. So far though, this color is gorgeous. The shadow formulation is great on this. I don't remember how well this particular shadow swatch, but you can rewind and check. But look how great of an application it is. It is just potent. It is out there in your face. Virtually no fallout, just like a smidgy poo right here. I'm gonna take a diffuse crease E38 by Sigma. And first things first, I'm going to basically diffuse this crease with this diffuse crease brush. That's what it's there for. I'm just going over the border back and forth, forth and back, and just making it a little bit more smoky, a little bit less harsh, you know? I'm not gonna go crazy because I am gonna apply another color on top. I just want this transition to be a little bit more smooth, so I'm gonna smooth this color out before I apply the next color. And I'm probably gonna use the same brush. Nice, 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 nice. It's been a minute since my eyeshadow palette reviews. When was the last one? I can't even remember. It's been all about foundations lately and full makeup lines. Okay, cute, 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 cute. Cute. So this is literally what my makeup would look like if I always applied my eyeshadow directly to my crease. And it's so interesting because I never really do this technique, but it's kind of cool. So much for appreciating your natural features, right? All right, next up, I'm going to dip into this shade. I'm gonna start just like working that a little bit higher than my crease. 
kind of in that area that I blended out, but also elongating this shape. Wow, these two are really, really nice together. Very soft and silky, just a very sultry kind of combination. Definitely reminds me of those khaki colors that you would wear in the desert. And when you think about like Dubai, where Huda Beauty, the brand is from, that's kind of how like you romanticize Dubai. You just think of all these images of camels in the desert, sand dunes, cool Indiana Jones inspired outfits. I don't know. And then glitz and glam by night. Never been to Dubai, but that's the association. Let's do the other eye real quick. That is lovely. All right, elongating that just a bit because I want to have a bit more of a dramatic pulled out smoky look. I'm trying to film one of those TikTok videos, so I'm going for a transformation today. Wait for it. Also, who follows me on TikTok? Do you? If not, you should. Because TikTok is like my fun platform of self-expression. It's like the younger me, you know? Me, if I were a Gen Z, and truth be told, it is my Gen Z sister who got me into TikTok, not my millennial peers. All right, that is looking muy lovely. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this lighter shade from the Purple Haze palette. This one's kind of like a really pale flesh tone. Don't remember how well it swatched. They're probably not great because the paler shadows were just not really cooperating with the swatch model. But you know what these are good for? These are literally good for erasing your mistakes. Like, so let's say you apply too much or you pulled out a shadow a little too much. It doesn't matter what skin tone you are because these aren't super pigmented, but they will lighten the eyeshadow and they will kind of subdue it just a little bit. Do you see what I'm doing? So I just took a big fluffy brush, Wing Gloss 03, and I'm literally kind of just go going over the border of that pullout. And now suddenly it's a little bit more elevated, you know? Why am I kind of greasy right now? <laughs> Rare beauty. Okay, that's looking really, 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 really lovely. The next thing that I wanna do, go for this beautiful khaki. I'm gonna pick that up with my finger and glide that across my movable lid. You guys, this is stunning. Stunning, 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 stunning. Like just so sultry, so necessary. I am obsessed right now. Okay, a bit of fallout though, a bit of fallout. Not too much, not enough for me to complain, but enough for me to notice and tell you. And specifically the fallout is with the sparkle. But wow, this is just such a gorgeous combination. You don't need a lot of color for the payoff. Obviously I just dipped once and then it was enough for both eyes. And I think I might've like re-dipped again just to perfect it. So good. This shade here is really unique. It's kind of like a duochrome. When I shift it from side to side, it has a green lavender. So I think it'll be nice literally right here in that inner corner for that pop. Because you see that? It looks pink. But then when you turn to the side, it's not really that bright because it blends in with the khaki. Really nice, wow. Another Wayne Gloss brush, this one is 05. I love these little detailing brushes. They're so versatile. If I can find this brush, I will link it down below. But honestly, his brushes sell out so fast. Kinda gotta get on the waiting list. I'm gonna take a little bit of this clean base from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the same one that I used in my previous video. I'm gonna dip this little flat brush into this base and duh, I'm going to etch out clean line underneath my brow arch, like that. Oh girl, I need to pluck those eyebrows. Literally just want the most subtle etch. This one's a little bit <laughs> brighter than I wanted it to be, but you know what, it's okay, we can fix that in a sec. I'm just gonna take that same shade, that really sparkly, shifty, pinky olive, and I'm gonna add that right on top, honey. Right on top. So then it pops a little bit more vibrantly than in the inner corner. And I'm gonna extend that like that. I don't know why I just did that. That is very, very dramatic. And now the whole look is changed, it's different. It went from a subtle smoky eye look to something much more dramatic and much more exaggerated. Again, I don't plan these things. I just let the eyeshadows do the talking. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna take a small little brush, Morphe 514. This shade might be the same shade as this middle one. In any case, they're very, very similar. They swatch kind of the same too. But anyway, I'm gonna take that and I'm going to lightly run that right underneath that sparkle. So now it's still there, but it's just a little bit more subtle because I wanted the brightest part to be right underneath the eyebrow. Okay, this works, this works. And then I'm gonna go back to this one and then just add back that smoke like that and then blend that out once more. Looking good. 
I'm thinking I need to actually line my waterline. So what I have here is the Smoky Eye Pencil from Casa Zeta Jones, which is Catherine Zeta Jones' new makeup line. And I have this brown liner. I'm going to first line my waterline with the brown. I'm gonna use the other end of the pencil to smudgy poo that out. So I just completed one of the eyes and now I know exactly what I wanna do. I really like this liner. I feel like it's a really good, smoky, but flexible type of liner. So basically what I did on the other eye is I tight lined the entire waterline. That's right, I am flexing and talking while I'm lining. And then I added just a little bit of that brown to the outer portion of the lash line, just to kind of lift this whole area. I'm not really being precise with it, and I'm not winging it out either, kind of just in between. Then, I'm gonna take a pointy little brush like this, and I'm gonna smudge out that line using these two shades in the khaki palette. So first, I'm going to smudge out the lower lash line, just because I really wanna set that pencil liner and add a bit of smoke. I know that looks a little harsh right now, but I'll fix it in just a sec. Then I'm gonna add the same combination of the two shades on top of this liner here, and just continue darkening this portion and lifting it up, pulling it out. And then I'm also going to take that bit in. And then, of course, I'm gonna blend with the original khaki shade using my original brush. And blend everything out once more. Then I'm just gonna take the flat edge brush and just clean up this area right here, like that. Last thing, MAC 228S brush, shimmery khaki shade. I'm gonna use this one almost as a liner. I'm gonna tilt my head, look in the mirror, and just swipe that across and stick it to that liner base. It's gonna give me a bit of sparkle and also a bit of smoke and just bring everything together. Whisking away any fallout. I'm gonna take a bit of this clean fresh powder in the shade tan and just warm up and bronze up my forehead. It was looking just a little too luminous for my liking. Warm up my cheeks, kind of just all the way across. Not really contouring so much, more just adding a bit of that sun kissedness. And for the lashes, I'm gonna curl my bottom lashes only. For my lashes today, I'm gonna use this new mascara from Kosas. Actually has no name, but the packaging is really cute. The reason why I like to curl my bottom lashes is because it actually makes them look longer. And so instead of sticking upright or outward, now they're facing down and creating a longer lash illusion, which I think is so important for smoky eye looks, especially when you have that smoked out lower lash line. And yes, I know, you probably can't curl your lashes with any other lash curler but this Laura Mercier one because it opens up so much wider than all the others. I actually just recently got the Shiseido eyelash curler in the mail and let me tell you, this one's a better bet for Asian lashes. Link below. You're welcome. All right, one more coat on those lower lashes. Oh, so sultry. For my lashes today, I have this big old PR package from House of Lashes X Patrick Todd. They did a lash collab and these lashes are so beautiful. Oh, they are just awesome and super wearable. So today I'm gonna go for this style here called It's a Look. Basically, this is a nice spiky but flared out pair. I like these because they have an invisible band. I'm gonna cut off a couple from the side. Beautiful. Really like that these lashes are very natural looking. So they're extremely flattering and enhancing especially on smaller eyes like mine. So it's just adding that little bit of flair, but it doesn't actually look like a giant false lash. I think it's a lot more wearable. And some of the lashes that were popular, say, three years ago on the gram, mm. I like this collab because Patrick Ta works with celebrities. He's a celebrity makeup artist and he really does know what works. All right, you guys, I feel like my eye look is complete. I just need to put myself together, you know, get just a little bit cuter for you and then present you with the final look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, here we are a little bit more glammed up, a little bit more styled up, feeling just a little bit more funky and sultry and ready to tackle the world. Here is the final look using Haze Obsessions in khaki on my lids. For my lips, I used Kevin Aquan Divine Lip Liner and kind of just brushed it out for a very subtle but very matchy matchy look I feel. And overall, I gotta say, I am feeling very badass. Like I am a rich man, mom. I don't know, something about this pinstripe is making me feel all bossy. Like I said, follow me on TikTok. I was right, you guys. When I saw Khaki Haze Obsessions online, this was the palette that immediately called out to me. And it is the palette that looked the most impressive to me in person. This is the one that I wanted to reach for to create a very sultry, fall appropriate look with. And it didn't disappoint. The 
eyeshadows were super buttery, super easy to use, beautiful formulations. I really loved the deeper mattes. I felt like they were actually really, really pigmented, really easy to blend out and apply. They work great with a sticky base. And I think for $29, this specific palette is 100% worth it. It is a keeper. If you're a lover of earth tones or khaki colors, olive colors, then you will get a lot of use and wear out of this one. Similarly with the Purple Haze palette, I thought it was great. The colors are very warm and inviting. And when I say warm, I feel like they're warm in the sense of being inviting. They're not like these like super vibrant, intimidating types of purples. These are purples that you wanna reach for, that you wanna play up your brown eyes with, or your blue eyes, or your green eyes, or your hazel eyes. This is something that will probably work for a lot of different eye colors. I didn't do a look with this, but according to the swatches, I felt like this was another good palette. Now the Sand Haze Obsessions, as you saw with the swatches, didn't really perform too well when it came to these lighter shades. Perhaps because I swatched it on Lee's skin tone, which is already on the light medium side. And so these eyeshadows just didn't show up. So I think this is probably geared towards someone who's of a much lighter complexion, but still it's a really pretty palette. It's a lot prettier than I expected when I saw it online. So so I think if you fall within the lighter complexion category, you will probably like this palette a lot. Those are my final thoughts. Those are my final two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look. I am certainly loving this look and I wanna make some plans for today because this needs to be seen, even with a mask. All right, you guys, zoom in on out. See you soon. Peace. Click them.